Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ about aromatic compound. So actually it's aromatic compound because it has a phenyl ring. So here actually these molecules undergo three step reactions. Obviously first two steps are important, third step is simple workup. So we have to say what is the major product of this reaction and here four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Because remember one statement, self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. Now I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. So in case of such multiple step reaction, I suggest you student look at the molecule reactant. It is actually, if you look at it's a phenyl group, so I can draw this phenyl group little better way. This. So one side is phenyl, another OH and CCL3. And first step, what reagent is given? Tosyl chloride triethylamine DCM at 25 degree means room temperature. It's a pretty selective reaction. It is nothing but student tosylation reaction, selective tosylation reaction. And what is tosyl chloride? Tosyl chloride is paratoluene sulfonyl chloride, SOCL. So you can consider it's a sulfon sulfonic acid chloride. So this, so it will react with this alcohol and ultimately it will produce this tosylated product and along with that it produce one HCl. HCl means this hydrogen will come from this side and Cl will come from here. So it will produce one HCl and that HCl is quenched by base present as triethylamine and DCM is solvent here. And this reaction is so facile that room temperature it occurs. So let's start the discussion from this much understanding. So first step is OTS formation. Obviously along with that triethyl ammonium chloride as a byproduct. Fine. So that's what we don't need. In the second step 4.5 equivalent methyl lithium is provided in terms of THF as a solvent and minus 10 degrees centigrade. It's a pretty interesting. First of all why methyl lithium? Second it's equivalent. We will learn slowly. So I first it produces actually the product is alkyne means terminal alkyne lithium salt and here student for that purpose actually four equivalent is needed and 0.5 is excess because whenever you do this alkyl lithium reactions completely dry condition is needed actually more accurately I should mention here dry THF or anhydrous THF, inert condition, etc. So during any experimental error, some moisture can enter into the reaction vessel. So such that slight excess is taken. Now question, uh, okay, that we understand and later on upon work up this terminal kind lithium salt produces this phenylacetylene. Now the main question or confusion is about this step, I know. So let's learn this little bit. Uh, mechanism from the source paper. This is GOC. How this happened? So first step is actually here. This is the adduct formation. I haven't mentioned. Fine. Now it is how this can happen. If you ask me that this can undergo decarboxylation and this decarboxylation will produce CCL3 minus some kind of CCL3 minus I guess we have observed in case of Reimer-Timan reaction where chloroform got deprotonated reducing base like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide produce this carbon ion which undergo alpha elimination to produce carbene or dichlorocarbene that's a different issue and here these act as nucleophile and it attacks to this aldehyde and produces this adduct. Fine, I guess you have understand in the second step this oscillation understand. Now what is the role of this alkyl lithium? Actually here it's mentioned that Cl leaves but uh, for your better understanding I am giving you a little more easier explanation. So if you want really exact then please visit this paper. Otherwise you can consider that first molecule of methyl lithium means methyl minus as a nucleophile can attack this chlorine and it can come and this tosyl leave because tosyl group is a good living group. Now question, why nucleophilic attack happened on chlorine? Because chlorine has energetically accessible vacant d orbital. This much you understand. Now you can ask me that one question that sir, 
why not these attacks here via SN2 type reaction backside attack and this docile will leave. See student in for that purpose you need to understand one thing that these CCL3 and these R both are very big group and SN2 reaction can't happen in crowded centers. Okay, so that's why. So whatever the thing in this case one molecule of chlorine is left and produces this dichloro derivative and one equivalent of methyl lithium consume. Now in the second step what happens? Second step another equivalent of this methyl lithium similarly attacks here. So in this way what it produces? It, in this way it produces this is RH double bond. This is the minus Cl. So similarly like this is called student alpha elimination means like in Reimer-Timmann reaction this CCl3 minus chlorine leaves and produces dichlorocarbene. Similar kind of reaction happens here. So you can see that these chloro leaves and ultimately what it produces it produces R uh, obviously here CH double bond C and this is the carbene. Now so what happened this carbene comes here and this hydrogen migrates from here to here and in this way it produces these terminal alkynes so R C triple bond C H. Now from this understanding one equivalent of gone from this first chlorine second equivalent gone from this second chlorine and another thing in this case this third chlorine left and here it produces this. Now this third chlor this third case actually this third case this proton is also abstracted by methyl group methyl lithium because these methyl lithium is a very strong base and alkyne carbon hydrogen or sp carbon hydrogen bond is significantly acidic okay so theoretically you can see actually one two and three molecules of these proton abstraction happen means three molecule of this methyl lithium is consumed later are extra for precautions now so and at the last step this is work of such that this terminal alkyne lithium salt is converted to you can see terminal alkyne now what is the answer here okay before going to that what is the key steps and name reaction to oscillation of alcohol first step second step is this actually kore fuch reaction or kore fuch reaction whatever you <coughs> Uh, spell and ultimately these uh, terminal kind generation by protonation of this corresponding salt. Now in this case what is the answer? Answer is student here obviously option D is the right answer. Now if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you come up to the right answer? It is student actually I believe difficult if you don't know this Kore-Fuch reaction. So that's why I suggest you in this case please go stepwise. Stepwise means in the first step a simple answer that it will be OTS formation. Now nucleophilic attack by methyl lithium at this center is difficult because here phenyl group one side one side CCL3 two big groups not possible. Now you can consider that okay SN1 type reaction actually I am giving you your guess type. So you can consider the pH this plus benzyl so CCL3. Now in SN1 beta elimination possible but in this case methyl lithium attacks here and ultimately this pair of electron comes here in this way it produces an alkene with 2 chloro. So alkene with 2 chloro is must, alkene with 2 chloro must, not possible. Now competition is option C versus option D. Now in this, this part we understand that this is alkene. Now, third step is that you need to know kore reaction which nucleophilic attack happens on this halogen and ultimately follows through carbine, uh, carbene intermediate and produces terminal alkyne. So this option will not happen. In this case student knowledge is essential, no tricks works. So using trick I can eliminate these two options but here you should know. So, so in conclusion what you have learned today that hydroxyl is not a good living group but in order to make it a good living group tosylation is needed. Its translation is one of the method and this chlorine has energetically accessible vacant d orbital or more specifically 3d orbital where nucleophilic attack can happen and nucleophile can donate its electron. Similar type of reactivity you have observed in carbon tetrachloride or carbon tetrachloride or carbon tetra iodide reaction in like name reaction like apple reaction. 
Now, Corifoch reaction actually undergoes carbene as intermediate. That thing you should remember, alpha elimination occurs and it results in terminal alkyne formation. <laughs> And protonation of terminal, sorry, this protonation of terminal alkyne lithium salt, terminal alkyne lithium salt is essential to get the product. The sp2 CH is significantly acidic, so that's why under this methyl lithium condition, it undergo deprotonation and remains as salt. Okay, and actually strong bases like alkyl lithium and LDA can easily deprotect that sp sp CH bond because increasing S character acidity increases such that the conjugate base means this sp carbon ion is stabilized because of this enhanced S character and obviously here student base is very strong that is why reaction happens. if you provide weak base it will not happen. So this is the end of this question I thanks everyone for watching this video and if you really enjoy the content and if you consider the channel provide worthy content then please help this channel to grow. So stay happy, stay blessed, see you in my next video, bye bye, take care.